The Challenge of the Yukon. dog king, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog king met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. One of the biggest events the Yukon was the annual dog team race. Each year, the finest teams in the North Country were brought to Eagle City for the event. And the honor of having the finest dog team in the territory was coveted more than the $500 in prize money. It was the night before the big race when everybody gathered in the Gold Bar Cafe to discuss it. John Burnett sat with old Kessler and Pete Wilkie. John's team was a big favorite. Well, hey, there's only one team around here that could beat yours, John, providing it was in the race, and that's Sergeant Preston's. Yeah, John, that lead dog of his, King, would sure make bad competition. Sure. Well, I don't have to worry. Preston can't race. He ain't had permission from headquarters. And say, that Dawson City team ain't bad. Yeah, I looked it over today. Can't hold a candle of mine. My dogs are bigger and my lead dog's smarter. Well, you can't always tell by looking at them, John. They may fool you when it comes to a workout. All the smart money is on your team. Yeah. Hello, Preston. Yeah. Hey, Sergeant. Oh, hello, Sergeant. Hey, Sergeant Preston now. And look at that dog of his. Ain't he a beauty? Come on <laughs> over here and sit with us, Sergeant. Hello, Pop. How are you, boys? Uh, yes. Sit down, Sergeant. Yes, right. sit. Here, King. Down, boy. <laughs> well, I just had word from headquarters. They've given me permission to race tomorrow. What? Uh, say, that's good. Everybody in town wanted you in on it, Sergeant. Well, well that's well. fine. Boys, Preston's going in the race after all. Good for you, Sergeant. That changes my button. Yeah. Here I am. Put your back. I'll take Preston. Two to one. How did headquarters happen to let you do it, Preston? I thought Mounties couldn't take prize money. Oh, we can't, Don. If I win, I'm turning it over to the new doctor for medical supplies for his clinic. Well, see, that's right nice of you, Sergeant. The town sure needs it. I don't see any point in your race anyway. Oh, John, you just saw because you got some real competition. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you had that prize money right in your pocket. Yeah. What's more, I still think so. You'll have a good team, John. But it won't be the favorite no more. Not with King in the race, will it, boy? Hmm. Come over and see Pop, old fella. Yeah, King seems to know you, Pop. Boy, I've known King ever since he was a pup, haven't the boy? Pop Kessler was one of the first people who ever saw King. <clears throat> well, I gotta be going. I'm still taking bets that my team comes in first tomorrow. Well, you better keep something back for a rainy day, John. Kind of looks tough for you. Yeah, well, I ain't worrying at all. Not much he ain't worrying. I, say, I'll bet you hang up a new record tomorrow, Sergeant. Nobody knows, Pop. Tomorrow we'll tell the tale. crowd had assembled to watch the start of the race. Eight dog teams were lined up to await the starting gun. Everybody set. Ten seconds. Ready, King. Up you huskies. Well, Preston, get ready to take a beat. Go to it, John, if you can do it. Get set. Everybody. March. 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 The 15-mile race led to Pierre's trading post and back, the men taking any trail they preferred. Preston's choice led through a spruce forest. It was here that King slowed, then suddenly stopped the team. His sharp ears had heard the sound of a child in pain. Leaving Preston and the team, the great dog broke through the tree despite his master's cries. King! What's the matter, boy? Where are you going? The other dogs in the team were confused at their leaders leaving them so abruptly, and King heard their barks mingle with his master's protests as he ran toward the sound of distress. Hey there, fella! There's no way to run a race! King drew near to the child. He knew Preston was following, for he heard him coming behind him. Help! Help! Please help me! What is it? I'm coming! <laughs> well, what's this? What's the matter, 
this, son? Are you hurt? Please help me. I, I'm shot. Why, you poor oh. kid. Here, here, my, my shoulder. Mm, let me look at it. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, son. How'd this happen? I was fixing a trap with my father's gun. What's your name? Harry Burnett. Oh. Sorry, son. Are you John Burnett's son? Yeah. Hmm. The bullet's still in there. I guess I'll get you back to town in a hurry. Here, let me carry you, Harry. Oh. Be careful. Oh. Sorry. Oh. It's a good thing King heard you crying. The dogs are making so much noise, I never would have found you. Back to the sled, King. We'll get you to a doctor, son. Preston was worried on the upgrade trail going back to town. The child was obviously feverish and should have had immediate attention. He urged his team uphill a little faster when suddenly the sled jolted to a stop and the team sprang ahead as the harness snapped. Whoa! Oh, King! Oh, you huskies! Come back, King! Are you all right, Harry? Yes, I guess so. But what happened? The harness broke. Just lie still, son, while I look at it. This harness is brand new. It shouldn't have... Well, what's this? What's the matter? This harness has been cut very cleverly, too. Small cuts in the middle of the strap so that the first heavy strain would snap it. What can we do? Oh, don't worry, son. Everything will be all right. I'm going to send King to town. He'll bring help. <laughs> King, old boy, I guess it's up to you. Come here, fella. <laughs> How can he tell anybody? Well, I'm going to put this note in his collar. Come here, King. Let me fasten this, Sonia. There. Now, I want you to take this to Pop Kessler. You know, Pop Kessler. Does he know what you're saying? Oh, I think he does, Harry. Can you find Pop Kessler, boy? I'm sure he understands me. All right, fella. Find Pop. Take it to Pop Kessler. On King! King raced over the frozen ground at top speed. Taking a shortcut that no dog sled could have followed, he headed for town. He was told to find Pop Kessler, the kindly old man whom he knew and liked. He had seen him last in the Gold Bar Cafe. It was there the great dog waited until the door was opened. Attention, everybody! Attention, everybody! They just telegraphed from the trading post that Burnett's team is ahead. The Dawson City team is second. Hey, yes, sir. Shot the head. What do you think of that? Hey, I wonder what happened to Preston. Yeah, that's funny. He ain't even second. Looks as if you won't get that money for the clinic, Doc. Yes, everybody seems so sure he'd win. You certainly thought so, didn't you, Pop? Well, I bet my money on it. But you can't always tell. Say, Pop, look at that dog that just came in. Don't he look like King? Well, he sure does. But he can't be King because he's racing. Well, he seems to be looking for someone. That must be King. There ain't another animal like him in the Yukon. Pop, maybe he's looking for you. King! King boy! Well, it is King! Well, King, what are you doing here? <laughs> Why is he pawing at you like that? Seems to be trying to tell me something. What is it, King? Look, isn't that something hanging on his collar? Yeah, guess it is. Come here, boy. Boy, it's a note. Let's see. Ring doctor at once. Burn that boy shot. Call a King. Well, that's funny. Wonder why he couldn't bring the kid to town with his own dog team. Something must have happened to it. We better get going, Doc. I'll rush right over and get my kit. You better get a dog team and blankets. I'll pick you up, Doc, in about five minutes. Right. All right, fine. Let's go. Preston had made a crude shelter of spruce branches to protect the feverish child. A fire crackled in front of it, and Preston stayed close to keep warm as his parka covered the boy. The wind was rising. Do, do you think they'll ever come? Yes, Harry, I trust King. He'll bring them. They should be here any minute now. Here, son, uh, take a little of this water. There, take a little more. There. I believe that's King's bark now. Listen. Yep, they're coming. Hello! Hello, Preston! Here they come, Harry. The doctor will take care of you now. The 
The crowd was gathered at the finish line as the dog teams entered the home stretch of the race. John Burnett was in the lead, with the team from Dawson City close at its heels. Come on, John! I got my money on you, boy! Yeah, for Eagle City! The Dawson team can't catch him now! If Sergeant Preston was in this race, John wouldn't have stood a show. I ain't so sure. That lead dog of John's is smart. It's too bad to have to spoil things for him by telling him about his son. Yeah, that's tough. You think he'll pull through? Well, Doc says, uh, bring John right along. He ain't sure the kid'll live. Hurry, John! I knew you'd do it, boy! Good work, fella. You owe me five hundred, man. Ain't that fine? John, something has happened. I have to tell you. Oh, Pop, it can wait. But this is important. It's your son. My son. Hey, Jake. Take care of those dogs, will you? Ain't you going to wait for your prize money, John? He can't wait. Come on, John. Hurry. What about my son? What's the matter? He's at the doctor's. He was fooling with the gun and accidentally shot himself. Shot himself? Oh, no. That's why Sergeant Preston didn't go on with the race. His lead dog, King, heard your son crying in the woods. Preston could have got him back here sooner, but his dog harness broke. Oh. He'd done all he could for him, but he had to keep him on the trail for three hours till we got there with the sled. Uh, do you do you think the doc can save him? Well, he was taking the bullet out when I left. If only he lives. Why, there's King in front of Doc's place. You have him to thank, John, for saving your son. Well, hello, King. If he could talk, I'd tell him how I feel. I brought him, Sergeant. Fine. Hello, John. Come in. How is my son? Is Doc's he... just finishing now. Better wait here until he's through. Do you... Do you think he'll be all right? I don't know. Here's Doc now. He'll tell him. Doctor. How is he? Your son is going to live, John. Oh, thank heaven. Good work, Doc. Oh, that's fine. I was afraid he wouldn't. We got there just one hour later. It wouldn't have turned out like this. Can I see him now? Well, you better not disturb him for a while. He's asleep. I can't thank you enough, Doc. I, I don't know what to say. The ones to thank are Preston and his lead dog. Why, they weren't even on <coughs> duty when they saved him. Sergeant Preston, could I talk to you outside? Why, sure, John. Come on. <laughs> oh, boy. Sergeant, there's something i got to tell you. Yes? Maybe you know what it is. I learned hard lesson today. I won the dog team race. I thought you would. I won it because you weren't in it. Me not. I knew if you raced, you'd win. So, well, you can do what you want with me, but I was the one who cut your harness to keep you out of the race. I suspected that, John, but I could never have proved it. I don't know what made me do it. I, it was the first rotten thing I've ever done, and it almost cost me my son. If it hadn't been for King... It was hard for me to believe you'd do a thing like that. I wanted to win that race so much. But I won't take a penny of the money. I'll give it all to the doctor, just the way you would have done. You can uh, arrest me if you want to. No, John, I won't arrest you. I think you've learned your lesson. Give the money to the clinic. King and I will keep your secret, won't we, boy? <laughs> we'll forget all about it, John, and just say the case is closed. <laughs> These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and instruments used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time and reach you from our transcription studios. Hal Neal speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.